Hello everyone. Our subject is EVS, and today we are going to learn directions and maps. Now see, stand in two equal rows in the classroom facing each other. Now tell the girl or boy standing in front of you the answers to the following questions. On which side of you is the blackboard? On which side of you is the main door of the classroom? On which side of you is the teacher's table? Your answers and the answers of the girl or boy in front of you are different. Why is it so? If the blackboard is to your right, it will be to the left of the girl or boy standing in front of you. If the blackboard is behind you, it will be in front of the girl or boy facing you. In the same way, your answers about the main door and the teacher's table will also be different from those of the girl or boy facing you. Therefore, in order to tell exactly where an object is located, we use directions. Now, we will use directions to find the answers to the same questions. We will write the names of the four main directions on the walls. Now, your answers and the answers of the girl or boy facing you will be the same. Directions can be used to tell exactly where an object is located. Let us learn how to find the directions. The four main directions are East, West, North and South. The direction in which the sun rises is the East. The direction in which the sun sets is the west. East and west are opposite to each other. If we stand facing east, the west is behind us. At that time, the north is to our left and the south is to our right. Now, see the large frame is given. Your house is at the center of the frame. The frame has a yellow strip on each of its four sides for writing the directions. In the yellow strip on the side of the house where the sun rises, write east. In the strip on the side opposite to the east, write west. North and south will be written in the remaining two strips. Now in the frame, show the things near your house in the right places. Neighboring houses, one shop near your house, one tree, the road nearby, the bus stop nearby. Now see what your neighborhood looks like. The sun rises and sets every day. That is why the sun is used to determine directions. Do you know magnetic needle? This is the magnetic needle. The magnetic needle in a compass always lies in the north-south direction. Now solve this problem. In this picture, the east is marked. We will write west opposite to the east and remaining to direction north and south. In which direction do you travel to go from the ice cream shop to the bus stop? We will travel in east direction. Amir wants to go to the ice cream shop. In which direction must he walk? The answer is Amir must walk to the west direction. Now next, Sarah wants to go to the bus stop. In which direction must she go? Sarah must go to the north direction. Students, do understand the concept and revise at home. Thank you.